It has been widely discussed that Samsung's initial unpacked event for 2024 is set to take place on January 17th. Now, if you're not too familiar with the world of devices, you might wonder why this matters. Well, the first Samsung unpacked event of each year holds importance, because it's when Samsung unveils its flagship models from the Galaxy S series. This year, Samsung has decided to move things up a bit compared to previous years, as the first unpacked event of 2023 was held on February 1st. This means that the Galaxy S24 models will have a couple of weeks to compete with the iPhone and Pixel models compared to their predecessors from the Galaxy S23 line earlier this year. Now comes the big question. Do we already know everything about the Galaxy S24? Well, maybe not. There could still be some surprises in store for us on January 17, 2024, if we are to believe a statement made by known leaker Ice Universe. According to their post on X, it seems that the successor to the Galaxy S23 Ultra will bring something exciting. More than your standard 4K recordings at 60 frames per second. Specifically, this Korean camera flagship may also have the capability of recording videos in 4K at 120 frames per second quality. A feature that has long been prevalent in action cameras and is quite popular among Sony Xperia flagship devices, Nubia has recently announced that their latest flagship, the Nubia Z60 Ultra now offers an option along with its three camera sensors. At the moment, it's uncertain whether Samsung will activate the quality slow motion option for all zoom levels on the S24 Ultra or if there will be any time limitations for recording. Nevertheless, videographers will likely find satisfaction with the S24 Ultra compared to its predecessor. On the Galaxy S23 Ultra, it wasn't possible to switch between lenses while recording 4K at 60 frames per second video. There are indications that this limitation may change in the generation according to a previous leak. While 4K at 120 is not entirely new in the smartphone market. OnePlus 9 Pro already had this capability, it has been relatively rare. If Samsung does indeed enable this feature on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, which hasn't been confirmed yet, it would certainly make a statement to players in the industry. Unfortunately, ICE later posted an update clarifying that this feature is currently undergoing testing and might not be ready for launch or could be completely dropped. Earlier we discovered the existence of Nightography Zoom, which appears to be an image processing technique designed for enhancing light photos. This technology allows for clarity and detail, even when zooming in on subjects from a distance. Additionally, there will be an editing feature that seems similar to the Magic Editor found in Pixel phones by Google Photos. This feature enables users to remove objects or fill in spaces with just a single tap. Based on the headings used in materials, it appears that these AI-driven capabilities might be exclusive to the higher-end models, like the Galaxy S24 Plus and Ultra. However, we'll have to wait for confirmation before drawing any conclusions. We are aware that Google has incorporated AI advancements into its Pixel phones and more features are expected with the upcoming Google Pixel 9 next year. It seems clear that Samsung is determined not to lag when it comes to their smartphone offerings. There have been rumors circulating for months about AI playing a role in making the Galaxy S24 appealing and previous leaks have hinted at features like a recorder capable of automatically transcribing speech from up to 10 different voices. This latest leak gives us a bit more of an idea of how capable these phones are going to be and by the middle of next month we'll have the official rundown from Samsung. The upgrades will potentially go way beyond AI features as well. Now for those excited, we're going to run through the full specs design and the price for each model in this 24 series to help you guys decide which one is right for you. Now for my regular viewers, you guys have seen this, so just skip to the next video, but if you're new here, then hit subscribe button for future updates too. Now we'll get right into it. The standard Galaxy's 24 is coming with a 6.2 inch, 120 Hz dynamic AMOLED display. We get a resolution of 2340 by 1080 and it's going to be using Samsung's new N13 OLED panels protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 2 with an Armor Aluminium 2.0 protection. We get a 12 megapixels punch hole camera for the selfies. Then on the rear it's a 50 megapixels primary camera, a 12 megapixels ultra wide and a 10 megapixel telephoto and of course it's going to be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in Canada and USA while rest of the countries worldwide are going to be getting the Exynos 2400. We get 8 gigs of RAM and a choice of 128 or 256 gig storage, and this is going to be a UFS 
It comes with a 4,000 mAh battery and while having a 25 watts fast charging. We do know that we're getting 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. Now it's coming with One UI 6.1 based on Android 14, and it's expected to launch from about $850 to $900, and that's going to be in February 2024. Now next up, we've got the Galaxy's 24 Plus, with a 6.7-inch 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display. We get an upgraded Quad HD Plus resolution of 3120 by 1440, and it's going to be using Samsung's new M13 OLED panel, and again protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 2 with an Armor Aluminium 2.0 protection. We get a 12 megapixels punch hole camera for the selfies then on the rear again. It's a 50 megapixels primary, a 12 megapixels ultra wide, and a 10 megapixel telephoto. It's going to be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in Canada and USA. While rest of the countries worldwide are going to be getting the Exynos 2400, and again, we get 12 gigs of RAM, then the choice of 256 or 512 gig storage, which will be USS 4.0. It comes with a 4,900 mAh battery while having 45 watts fast charging. And again, we get 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. It's coming with One UI 6.1, based on Android 14, and it's expected to launch from about $1,050. Now finally, we've got the most premium, the Galaxy's 24 Ultra. With this 24 Ultra, we got a 6.8 in 120 Hz dynamic AMOLED display. It's got a resolution of 3088 by 1440, and again, it's using Samsung's new M13 OLED panel, protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 2. We get a 12 megapixels punch hole camera for the selfies. Then on the rear, it's a 200 megapixels primary camera, a 12 megapixels ultra wide. We get a 50 megapixels five times, as well as a 10 megapixels three times telephoto zoom. Despite previous rumors, it's going to be powered up by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in all regions, and it's only this 24 and this 24 plus that is still going to be using the Exynos. And with this 24 ultra, we get up to 12 gigs of RAM with the choice of 256, 512, and 1 terabyte of storage. And this is of course USS 4.0. It comes with a 5,000 million power battery and while having 45 watts fast charging, and we're also going to get 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. Now it's coming with One UI 6.1, based on Android 14, and it's expected to launch from $1,250. So overall, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra brings a fresh design with more strength and much brighter display. On top of upgraded hardware and lots of new A features, the inclusion of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in all models of the Ultra feels like a good move from Samsung and with upgrades across the whole lineup, it should see plenty of success. Now because of the similarities to the predecessor, though it's probably not going to make anyone with an S23 Ultra rush for an upgrade, but for anyone with an older S phone or looking to get their first S phone, then it's going to be a great choice. Now of course being so close to launch more and more details are going to continue to come in, and I'm going to be sharing them as soon as they do. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing in the future. So what are your expectations from upcoming S24 lineup? Share it down below in the comments section and for more updates, you can check out our channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you for the next time. Peace out.